What is up everybody? It is King Kunta bringing you another gold farming video today. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, welcome to the video. And if you are a subscriber, welcome back and thank you for actually watching my videos and being subscribed for a purpose and enjoying my content or maybe just not even enjoying it and just disliking it every time. But you're still a subscriber so you still hold a special place in my heart. And right now you're telling me you want me to shut up because you want me to tell you what we're farming. So, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So, first things first, as you know, as I start every video, you need bear tartar, obviously. It's going to make everything so much easier. Do it already. I tell every, I say this in every video and people probably get mad about it, but it's at the point where like, I need to tell new people and old people are mad because I won't shut up. So, you know, that's... Oh man, but yeah, I mean you can see it already. We are going to be farming Primal Fire today. Now, the cool thing about Primal Fire is it is used to make tons of transmog. And the cooler thing about Primal Fire is that a stack of 200 of it is selling for 200,000 gold, which is pretty good. But we're going to teach you how to farm it. So right now in my server you can see they're probably, you know, they're around about 500 gold is uh, the buyout. Uh, on some servers though, they actually do go up to literally like, I've seen servers that maybe like aren't super volatile but maybe just a little bit to the point where like their primal fire is going for like 2500 gold that's a lot of gold for one fire and the farm that I'm going to be teaching you guys today actually gives you the chance to get an entire primal you don't get just moats of the primals like uh, you used to you actually get like the whole primal now the reason Primal Fire and Primal Air are some of the more expensive ones are because of the fact that they're just harder to obtain. As you saw with some of my other Primal, primal videos um, in the you know past, those videos uh, you're, a you're able to get those so quickly and efficiently to the point where like the price just goes down because there's just so much more than coming into the market. So with this method, you're not if your market's not uh, super low, as you can see, mine is kind of low, but it's still worth it for me to do this. Uh, I still do this dungeon all the time because it's kind of like guaranteeing you a certain amount of income. So we're going to have to go to Outland, and uh, I'm going to cut the video here. But once we return, we will be at the farming location. I'm going to tell you guys everything you need to know about it, and you guys will be set up to make tons of gold. See you there. What is up everybody? So as you can see we are back and we are now currently at the farming location. And some of you may know where this is, some of you might not. We are actually at the Shattered Halls. So I'm going to go ahead and show you on the map where that is now. Uh, it's right here in Hellfire Citadel. Uh, and make sure you're not taking the wrong portal because you're going to see this portal up here and you kind of want to go to do, or go to that but that is not the Shattered Halls. The Shattered Halls uh, portal is right there there behind this gate so make sure you come here now now that you all know where this is and it's in outland so you need to be get uh from your capital city to outland first uh which is not very hard uh, i think most everybody knows how to do that now and if you don't comment it and i'll tell you so what we're going to want to do is before we even go into the dungeon itself we're going to want to go ahead and take some bear tartar which is kind of the normal now if you are uh, World of Warcraft gold farmer in any capacity you have this on you always So we're gonna go into the shattered halls now first things first. We need to make sure that the instance difficulty is on heroic so I'm on heroic on both of them. So the interesting uh, I want to say mechanic that allows us to farm this is the fact that in the Burning Crusade, uh, Blizzard did this kind of weird thing with some of the dungeons, and uh, actually a lot of the dungeons, in the fact that, or even in Cataclysm, the fact that um, they'll have an extra mob that spawns when you put the dungeon on Heroic, and when you clear the dungeon and you get to the end of it, and you go to kill the uh, last mob, uh, it will actually drop some primals. And it actually, the mob in this dungeon has a chance to drop I believe it was uh, up to three primals. So this this farm is definitely quite useful, and it only works if after you kill the last boss, so, and you have to kill him, so you can't spam farm him. But on top of the fact that we have that boss there, we also have this cool uh, kind of thing throughout this entire dungeon, in that um, there is, this is still a transmog farm. So. What I normally do in running through this dungeon is I will run through here and I'll maybe kill one of these guys at a time. 
and I'll just keep running till I get to the boss. Now there are some uh, lore moments in this, so it can kind of be quite irritating getting through this dungeon, but there actually are some nice transmog pieces if you do want to run the whole thing. Or if you do like actually want to farm this the way it uh, is meant to be. And uh, as you can see, it's quite easy to run through, other than the fact that like all the they're all kind of lore locked in the end. So like as you can see, what we just did there, we're gonna go ahead and loot. You will get a lot of Nether Weave, and there actually are quite a bit of mobs uh, in this dungeon, and they all do uh, drop transmog. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe out all these guys for here. And then you just go down there. Okay. So we just run through here. And uh, as long as you have bear tartar popped, you're going to be able to make this dungeon quite quickly. Uh, in that you just need to kill one at a time. So I ran the wrong way because I'm dumb. So we're going to run. Oh, wait. Did I miss it? There we go. Got it. Sweet. So this is how you get to the first boss. You're just running through the whole dungeon, basically. And then uh, you just really want to nuke these as fast as possible because the only mob that we're uh, interested in farming for primals is the mob at the end of the instance that I will show you. And as you can see here, it is quite a run. Um, Let's see here. Yeah, we can. Uh, this guy warns everybody else, and you have to kill another boss, and you keep going. But after, once this next boss spawns, you guys will be able to see. Now, in that he drops uh, primals, he actually drops um, many different primals, and they're all kind of random, uh, if you've ever seen it. Okay. Yeah, so... Right in here... Just kill all these. All these. Nuke them all. Nuke them all. Nuke them all. Just like that. To here. And we get to the next boss. And as you can see, he's kind of like yelling stuff. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to nuke all these real quick. We're just going to pick up some of the loot. And you actually have a chance to get a ton of um, old world uh, transmog pieces from this farm. Which is actually why I run this farm so frequently. Uh, because you're actually able to obtain a really good amount of gold and investing in primals uh, on the auction well investing your time in primals normally uh, is one of the things that is most worth it in World of Warcraft for me that I've found so far in that it's the most uh, steady gold per hour that you're gonna get in kinda any situation uh, out of all the farms you could do like it's the most steady guaranteed gold per hour that's why I normally recommend these primal farms um, to all my uh, close friends and uh, when they ask you know what farm should I do I, I always tell them that uh, they need to do primal farms so we'll go here and as you can see got primal nether so we're gonna see how much that farm is for as you can see he does drop quite a bit of loot and all the mobs are kind of following me from the, uh, the dungeon. So we got a few greens there. So I'm just going to go ahead and look. Oh, we got to kill this guy. There we go. All right. Sadly, I got Primal Nether. But you do have a chance to get up to uh, three Primal Fires and stuff like that. And you can run this dungeon over and over and over again. Obviously, I kind of got screwed on this one. Because I got, you know, one of the worst ones. But I also did get a bunch of greens that I can sell in the auction house and some nether weave. So as long as you loot everything in this dungeon, you're going to come out of it pretty uh, A-OK, -okay, as I'd say. Um, it definitely, um, For the alliance. it's definitely worth it. And I'm happy that, you know, I can kind of show you this guy's farm before. So we'll kill this guy. This guy also drops some here. Make sure you still like not staying tuned to the video so as you can see here this guy drops some too he drops some cool stuff kind of like raid supplies but he also drops primal too so if we look here we got primal earth not the best that we could have gotten we we're kind of looking for primal fire or air or something along those lines um but yeah so as you can see that's kind of what i got uh 
doing this dungeon. And then I actually have tried killing none of the bosses and resetting it and killing them. And you really can't do it unless you can, uh, I don't know, it's kind of like a trick. But it's possible, but it's not easy. And uh, that's really it for the farm. Uh, that's kind of all I guys have, or all I have for you guys. If you guys did like the video, I ask that you like, uh, comment, maybe even subscribe, and uh, also check the link in the description below for good stuff. And if you're still here, I've actually been thinking about starting a Patreon page. I don't know, maybe I thought about it, but then I'm kind of worried that if I do, it's kind of like asking for money, and I honestly don't think anybody would even be up for the Patreon page. Like, I don't think anyone would even donate to it, because I don't think, uh, you know, my subscribers are, you know, that kind of, that kind of subscriber base, if you know what I mean. I, I just don't think that anyone would do that, uh, for this channel. But, I've been thinking about it, so if you did watch the end of the, end of the video, I know you're one of my more loyal subscribers, and I want to hear your guys' thoughts on, um these videos below i want you, like i just want some feedback if you guys think setting up the patreon is a good idea then i think i might do it and if you guys tell me it's a bad idea then i won't and i'll wait uh till the new youtube system comes out or something like that but that's all i have to say in this video and uh yeah i'll see you all in the next one